A massive show of force in Iran as the government unveiled a huge new underground missile site, boasting precision guided missiles the U.S. fears could carry a nuclear warhead. This muscle flexing comes as tensions with Saudi Arabia reach a new high. Secretary of State John Kerry in diplomatic overdrive to get the sides talking again. We believe that it's important to work through that tension, work through those disagreements, um, so that we can all work harder together on, on other issues which are affecting the Middle East writ large. Today, Kuwait joined Saudi Arabia in cutting diplomatic ties with Iran, the kingdom's latest Sunni Muslim ally to do so. Mashallah. The backlash against Iran growing after protesters torched and razed the Saudi embassy in Tehran. But today, Iran's president was defiant on Twitter, declaring, quote, Saudi Arabia won't be able to cover up its crimes by cutting ties with Iran. <laughs> Fury among Iran's largely Shiite population still spreading after the Saudi beheading of this Shiite cleric, Nimr al-Nimr, who it called a terrorist. The Saudi foreign minister said Iran only has itself to blame. It's their aggressive moves that have led to this, not anything we did. U.S. officials fear confrontation between the region's dominant Shia and Sunni powers could bleed over into Iraq, where Prime Minister Abadi, who is friendly with Iran, needs Sunni tribes to hold Ramadi, now that Iraqi forces have retaken the city from ISIS. Very concerned whenever you see this kind of potential for real polarization because it enables extremists on both sides to take advantage of the situation. And in Syria, where the U.S. needs Iran and Saudi Arabia to agree on a peace deal to end the brutal civil war. The Saudis have not agreed to any of this uh, all along. And therefore, I, I think they still want to argue to their own base and to the United States and international community that their focus is Iran. That's where they see the problem. And they're not uh, willing to, to change that posture in order to help with the fight against ISIS or in order to bring peace to Syria.